Okay, so after calling DeWalt and DeWalt not having a clue about these different drills and some of the problems that they're having, I decided to do a side-by-side -side comparison with four drills that I have here in my shop. First one's a porter cable. It's an 18 volt drill. Uh, fairly inexpensive drill. I think I paid about a hundred bucks for it new. Um, it's about three years old. Then I got a DeWalt, the new brushless DeWalt. This is about a $200 drill. I got it with the impact driver, so it was another 70, 80 bucks. So almost $300. Then I got this Hitachi 12 volt drill. It's actually 10, but it's 12 volt max. Really nice drill. And then I got this one on Black Friday special, this DeWalt 20 volt max as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try each one of them with a relatively straight bit in it and uh, let you see how much the chucks wobble on the both DeWalt drills, um, regardless of how much you pay for them, apparently, and uh, versus the more inexpensive Porter Cable and Hitachi. So here we go. Here's the DeWalt, or sorry, here's the, the Porter Cable with a uh, just a regular uh, steel shaft in it. If anything, just a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit of wobble. Next, I'm going to change the bit out and put it in the DeWalt. Now, here is the brushless DeWalt, the most expensive one I have right here out of the four. Check this out. Look at that wobble. And that's torqued down on all of them. The bits and everything are torqued in there. It's not, not loose or anything. Now, we're going to move on to the... Uh, Move on to the Hitachi. Very, very little on the Hitachi. Now we'll move to the uh, the last one, the DeWalt. Here's the uh, the ninety nine dollar DeWalt at Lowe's, normally one hundred and forty nine dollar twenty volt max. You can see there's still a significant amount of wobble in this one as well. Not nearly as much as the uh, the brushless one. And uh, so basically in order, it would definitely be the Hitachi's number one, Porter Cable's number two, and the two worst one are the two DeWalt drills, which is kind of confusing to me. So DeWalt says it's perfectly fine, and that's how they're supposed to operate, and that doesn't make a lot of sense.